Good afternoon. I am Dr. Venkata Sai SVRD, uh, presenting my paper on assessing retinal Please blood flow in multiple sclerosis patients <coughs> using OCT angiography and Please enhancing OMH. Mic closer to the mic. Um, enhancing optic nerve head damage detection. As we all know, multiple sclerosis is the most common disabling neurological disorder of uh, younger adults occurring in the age group of 20 to 40 years. Optic neuritis, mainly retinobulbar neuritis, occurs in 80% of the patients with multiple sclerosis, but a very little is known regarding the retinal perfusion changes in them. The impact of multiple sclerosis on optic nerve anatomy is conventionally assessed by fundoscopy and function by visual acuity, fields, and color and contrast sensitivity. We are using OCT angiography, which is a relatively newer, non-invasive, fast imaging modality, taking high-resolution images of the retinal and the choroidal microvasculature. Our aim of this study is to detect anatomical and functional retinal blood flow changes in multiple sclerosis patients with or without optic neuritis using auxiliary investigations like OCT with angiography. The optic nerve head flow index gauges the area caliber of major retinal arteries including vessel density and flow velocity within the capillary network. Compared to traditional fluorescent angiography, the flow index offers the advantages of deep optic nerve head perfusion and laser Doppler for a larger coverage area. Several previous studies have shown a decrease in vessel density in patients with glaucoma. In our study, we have assessed 30 patients with multiple sclerosis and 30 controls. Uh, they've all undergone a visual acuity, color vision, IOP, and detailed anterior segment evaluation and fundus evaluation. We have done an OCT and OCT angiography for all the patients using Cirrus HD spectrum domain octa. Uh, the vessel density was further calculated using ImageJ, Fiji software, uh, and using appropriate plugins. The flow index was further calculated with vessel density and the blood pressure of the patients and IOP. These are the angioplex images that we obtained from OCT angiography. We further processed our images into binary and we used the plugins uh, appropriate uh, which were available for in the software and skeletonized our images and calculated the vessel density further. The flow index was calculated using the blood pressure of the patients, which we further used to calculate the mean ophthalmic artery pressure and calculated the uh, mean uh, ocular perfusion pressure. And using a simplified hagen poiseuille um, formula, we calculated the flow index. Here we have seen a significant decrease in vessel density in patients with multiple sclerosis with or without optic neuritis uh, in the intrapapillary, superior and the inferior peripapillary area. There's a maximum decrease seen in the intrapapillary followed by the superior, followed by the inferior peripapillary areas. And we also noted that there was a reduction in the flow index in multiple sclerosis patients with or without optic neuritis, but the decrease was more seen in uh, patients with optic neuritis than without optic neuritis. Discussion. The patients with multiple sclerosis irrespective of, of optic neuritis showed generalized decrease in the vessel density with significant reduction in intrapapillary, superior peripapillary, and the inferior peripapillary hemifield, and by extension, a reduction in flow index as well. Results, our results were in concordance with previous studies by Rebecca Stein et al. Reduction in the vessel density and the flow index in multiple sclerosis patients with optic neuritis was more severely reduced than in patients without optic neuritis. Furthermore, reduction in, the, in vessel density was more um, seen in the superior hemifield as compared to the inferior hemifield. The potential for better clinical out outcomes and a more comprehensive approach in managing patients with visual complications in multiple sclerosis. Concluding, OCT angiography plays a pivotal role in assessing retinal blood flow changes that is decreased um, optic nerve head perfusion in multiple sclerosis patients with or without optic neuritis. Thus, OCT angiography can be used in patients with multiple sclerosis even without features of optic neuritis 
uh, to monitor the progress of the disease. Thank you. Why there is a change in this blood flow in these cases of MS? Why these vascular changes are there, you know? What is the cause of it? This was mainly seen in the patients with optic neuritis, ma'am. Why, why they have this? Because it's a demyelinating disorder. Only. Demyelinating disorder. So why these vascular changes are occurring in these patients? And uh, if we think it might be optic atrophy, then you should have taken the pati patients who have recovered vision, who have not recovered vision. Because yes, once uh, disuse atrophy is there, naturally the blood vessels count of capillaries goes down. So one question bump criteria is there, you know, assessing the primary optic atrophy. So what is the reason of it and we should have assessed with the visual outcome also. Yeah, we have assessed with the visual outcome as well, ma'am. Did you do it? Yes, ma'am. Visual equity was also measured. No, but you didn't mention it. Yeah. With those patients which have a... We have done a detailed ocular examination for Laura. No, no, no. What about this? Uh, those where the count was less, you know? Yes, ma'am. And the one where there was... All the patients, they had a less count? Very papillary blood vessels and that flow also. All the patients, they have a less or... Not all, ma'am, but Some a of the majority patient, of them. So you should have seen the one where it was not there, what was the visual outcome in that, okay. and the one where it was less, what was the visual outcome in that. That would have been a better. better message would have given to us. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Any subgroup analysis was done, like uh, retrobulbar neuritis, uh, on, on optic neuritis, papillitis, and the neuroretinitis? No, ma'am. No. Yeah. Any optic when it was at an only. acute stage or after some time? Multiple sclerosis, after recovery? Mm. Uh, acute and uh, follow-up patients were also... Uh, yeah. Steroids. Mm. Before giving it. Yeah. 